What's up guys, Wolf here. Welcome to another Division 2 video. Season 1 is upon us for Year 6. It took quite a few hours for them to drop it, but we finally got it. So if you guys did not know, you can go and activate the new season. And there are a bunch of rewards. And we have got, it's called Burst Rogue. And we've got Echo. So this is going to be part of the Manhunt. So if we take a look at the actual Manhunt itself, as you can see, the prime target is Aaron Kina. We have got Echo. I have completed it there is nothing really much new here it's the same old same old kind of situation we're gonna to have to wait quite a few weeks for the other ones three weeks and six days for hercules then it doesn't really tell us for the other ones then we can finally find kina and see what happens there now we also have a rewards track if you guys want to have a look at that some other bundles in the shop but i'm not really going to talk about this i recommend playing conflict it's a very easy way to level up i went from level 14 to level 17 in one conflict match so that is a great way of leveling up or you can just play the game it's up to you so we get a whole bunch of new items i mentioned all of this in the pts if you guys want to check that out i will leave links down below for the pts video summarizing all of this there hasn't been too much of a change since the final pts we get the new brand set new gear set the new shotgun the named shotguns uh, there's some new talents there and if you want the rewards track you can purchase it i haven't though yet acosta's knee pads at 86 and the overlord shotgun at 90. then we get an exotic cash and first rogue hero you can go and look at the rewards track yourself so i want to showcase a diamondback build in this video because diamondback has received quite a significant buff i'll put it on screen right now this is the latest patch that we've got so increased damage up to 342k, which is interesting. Mag size from 5 to 8. This makes a huge difference, by the way. The sustained DPS, because remember, reloading loses DPS. When you have to reload, you're not shooting. It's actually a big DPS boost. The agonizing bite, which is the talent. So it randomly marks an enemy within 20 meters. If no enemies are within 20 meters, it marks the closest enemy to you. Hitting that enemy consumes a mark guaranteeing a critical hit and amplifying damage of the hit by 20%. After that shot, all guaranteed all shots are guaranteed critical hits for 5 seconds. So this, a new enemy is marked afterwards, a random one, and whenever you reload. So the previous is down below. So this makes it a bit easier to use and a bit more viable. It's not perfect, but the setup I'm going to showcase to you guys today is going to be absolutely insanely powerful we can absolutely mince legendary golden dog in a couple of bullets it, it is ridiculous solo pve whatever you want any kind of pve in the game this is going to be a great setup to use you can adjust it in many different ways i'm going to showcase i'm going to talk about that shortly but this is one of the strongest builds i've i've used in a long time and it's so much fun especially with the boost of the diamondback i actually forgot how powerful this weapon is so i'm going to showcase the build in full detail then you guys can enjoy some gameplay so with this setup it's important to know how the diamondback works and re-rolling it so go and re-roll it the attribute it's up to you you can go for damage to armor damage two targets out of cover it's dependent on your situation and what you think you want um, but i recommend damage two targets out of cover it's just the most eff effective re-roll it i got quite lucky i have optimized it once so i'll just try get my dtc damage out of cover high and try and max this out my proficiency rank is quite low but i'll get there because i never really used this gun before i can hit over five and a half around about five and a half million damage a crit which is nice because you will consistently crit all the time as long as you hit the enemy that is marked if you see a mark hit that mark and then go ballistic shoot as many enemies as you can you can one shot golden enemies on legendary and i have not even optimized this i cannot wait to see how much damage we can output with this gun it's actually quite ridiculous how much damage we can do i'm yet to try this in pvp but i will report back once i've done that so that's all you need to know when you see a mark and the nice thing is is it's changed so it randomly marks enemy within 20 minutes if no enemies are within 20 minutes it marks enemy closest to you so you do want to keep the enemies a little bit further away so you can get that guaranteed mark so you'll know which one's going to be marked so it is a lot better and the increased mag size what can i say it's really really nice so with this setup i tried to use gunner i tried other ones but i think gunner is 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 very effective it's really up to you you can use the sniper one you can use fire, whichever one it doesn't matter it depends what you want and what your teammates want you can use this in a group or playing solo really even solo legendary missions but in heroic you absolutely one shot everything basically it's so much fun so 
the great thing about I think the setup here is you don't have to rely on like well you don't have to worry about running out of ammo because it's got so many bullets and you, you don't have to worry because gunner will keep refilling it so that i know that might not seem like much but in some missions especially playing solo that can be an issue when using an assault rifle but with this gun because you can basically one to two shot anything it, it's going to be no problem secondary pistol i haven't even bothered to change it it's up to you what you want to go for i wanted to showcase this because we know we're going to be guaranteed crits so i recommend going for Crit damage and headshot damage on the backpack. Use a Grupo because it's critical hit damage. I know I've got crit chance, but I need to reroll that. Doesn't matter. Um, this is going to be perfect crit damage. At, we don't need Cheska because we, we are going to be guaranteed crits. So Grupo is going to be the best one there with Vigilance. You don't have to use this backpack talent, but I, I wanted to go full all out damage utilizing RPM and crit damage. So that's the whole purpose of the setup. So just try this. I'll, I will post many different variations, but it's up to you guys. How to tweak it from here you can even have a few more blues especially on heroic you don't even need this many reds but i wanted to showcase the damage output of what, you, what you're capable of getting to so crit damage modifications on everything the chest the mask and the backpack grupo and then the rifle damage fox's prayer with damage two targets out of cover that's more multiplicative damage and crit damage rolled there then the four piece umbra initiative I know we get crit chance, doesn't matter. That actually helps your secondary if you want to use a different gun in case you need to swap weapons. Reload speed is great, especially with the Diamondback. That's why you can see me reloading so quickly. So we can heal. You guys know how this gear set works. When you're in cover, you stack up. When you go out of cover, you make use of the stacks you gained in cover to give you RPM and critical hit damage. Then when you're getting stacks out of cover, when you go back into cover, you basically heal, which is quite significant. Uh, to some degree, because if you run out of armor kits, you can at least rely on this to keep your armor up. So it's quite simple. Every single piece of the Umbra, and pretty much every roll, should have critical hit damage on. That's it's that simple. Then obviously crit damage and headshot damage on the backpack. This works incredibly well. I think this build is very easy to use. Now you might be thinking to yourself, well, you need to go out of cover. You don't need to use a shield. You can. Pop out of cover, pop shot, go back into cover. It, it may take a bit of practice, but it works well. And I think it's, it's there are many different ways to try to run this build. I have got different variations for the Diamondback, but this is just so effective with the Umbra. The RPM, very high DPS, and the crit damage increase is massive. There's a lot of crit here. So just give it a try. And this is one of the, this is, I, I'm on, honestly, I'm surprised. I'm having a lot of fun with the setup and I want you guys to give it a go. Decoy, shield, take a look at these stats. Go for all crit damage, 200% crit damage. This goes to a huge amount because of Umbra. So let's take a look at the other stats. Please make sure to leave a like, guys. Subscribe. Let me know what you think of Season 1. What do you think of the build? Are you going to try it? Have you tried something similar? Are you going to use it? And I'll see you guys very soon in the next video. Peace out. They maintain this outpost. The True Sons will be a direct threat to the campus. Got a visual on additional hostiles in the memorial compound. They're moving south. There's a gate between you. It looks closed from here. Agent, you'll need to find a way to open that gate.
to turn the memorial into a base. I want to head back up. Assistance needed. <laughs> 